previously. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention that there is one last thing I need from you. Well, why are you holding A? Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, I will destroy her. Attention all students and faculty staff. Two students have been reported. Missing at around 7.30 a.m. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Then, kawaii pai. Or maybe never, perhaps? Thank you for making this easy for me. What the? I'm Lick My Ass Crack reporting to you, live from Walmart Academy High. Today, we're going to be covering the murder of former student, Kawaii Pai. It all happened too quick. I'm just so beyond devastated. That would mean that the new student is in fact a murderer. Or that could also mean that this is one big coincidence and I'm coming up with absurd conclusions because of sleep deprivation. Who in the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Watch where you're going. Oh, I don't think you want to know. Haha. Uh -huh. I think you might be right about that. Ugh. Shit, I think I have a concussion after that one. Let's go. Seriously? Not again. Are you okay? Well damn, oh, damn. what is with what me is with, is and with, bumping, bumping into, into hot, hot boys, boys today? Remember to meet me back at the same exact spot tomorrow. Geez, I know. You've said that like 100 times already? Haru, I'm so sorry. Oh hell no. And the numbers are alarming. Many parents took to social media to express their concerns and outrage. And most importantly, to question if the American education system is failing adolescents. School directors have firmly conveyed the prioritization of their students' safety. However, many remain unconvinced. Let's take a look at some of these Yant weeks that have been trending on Yant Twitter. So in order for my kid to get a proper education, I have to put her in danger of getting killed by some psychopathic murderer? Yeah, no thanks. I'm not even surprised. Gen Z success. Hashtag millennials are the bomb. How has nobody found even a single ounce of evidence against a potential suspect? Get off your asses, people. This is the children we're talking about. Who needs school anyways? It's not like anyone ever learns anything useful. Look at me. I dropped out of third grad, and I'm perfectly fiend. As you can see, this whole situation has sparked quite the controversy. We are hoping that the person behind the murder of these victims will be identified soon. She did what? God, can you be any fucking louder? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for having basic human emotions. Girl, the whole point of working together is to go against that new kid that we hate. It would be kinda hard to do that if the whole school knew that we were scheming. And that would be my fault how? Forget it. So anyways, after our conversation yesterday... Not so fast, Izumi. Why don't you go ahead and explain to me how I would be at fault for ruining our plan? I said forget about it's it. It's pretty bold of you to imply that I am a loud mouth, considering you have the loudest mouth of them all. Ayano, chill the well, fuck. Well, go right on ahead, Izumi. Please enlighten me on how much of a burden I am to you. Ayano, I'm not trying to argue with you right now. You started this? I did not. You, you are, are over here calling me a loud mouth and like putting the blame do. on me for everything. Maybe teaming up like, with a spoiled seriously, get off your high like horse because you you're not idea. any better than me. This argument is so beyond ridiculous. Fighting is going to get us nowhere. Whatever. 
I guess you're right as much as I hate to admit it. Anyways, what is it that we were discussing again? The fact that Sumaria was totally flirting with Haru yesterday. Oh my god, right. Tell me everything. Now. Well. What the hell was this bitch doing here? Haru. I swear to fucking god I will kill this bitch when the opportunity strikes. That is a promise. Time to find out if her ugly ass was flirting with my man. Hey Haru. Sorry for making you wait so long. Hey Izumi. And no worries. I'm just glad you are. Okay. I was getting a little concerned. My bad. I got caught up with some shit and lost track of time. Speaking of shit, I saw that new kid talking to you just now. I feel extremely bad for you. Oh, yeah, that. That was definitely something. Ugh, what did that weirdo even want anyways? I honestly couldn't tell you. The whole interaction was extremely random and just strange. I expect nothing less. What did the conversation look like? Well, she kinda just asked me about what I was doing, who was I waiting for, and then stared at me for, a good minute or so. What the fuck? Not her trying to get all up in your business. She's lucky I wasn't there at the start otherwise. I would've bitch slapped her right across the face. Wait a damn minute. Do you think that ugly bitch was flirting with you? Nah, I don't get flirtatious vibes from her. She's just extremely creepy. Good. She better not have. Or else I'll completely dismantle her. Piece by piece. Shit. I, I meant that in a figurative way. Obviously. Haha. -ha. I figured. It just kind of threw me off guard. Sorry about that. Don't apologize. It's my fault. I shouldn't joke about that kind of stuff. Like murdering and whatnot. Which I would never do of course. I would never blatantly decapitate someone for the sake of my own personal gain. Nope, certainly not me. I'm definitely making this I'm worse, aren't I? I? Fuck my life. You're really funny, Izumi. I, I am. Well yeah, it's funny seeing you try to convince me that you don't kill people. Wah, what do you mean by that? Oh, you know. Um. Shit, 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 shit. He knows. He knows. Dirty secrets that I keep. Does he know it's killing me? Wait. Does he know what I did last summer? I know what you did last summer. I just think it's funny that you were trying to explain yourself. I obviously know it's a joke and that you wouldn't actually kill anyone. Oh. Thank the fucking lord. What did you think I meant? Nothing. And that's pretty much all the important stuff I recall. What's with the dirty look? You know, I've realized something. And what the hell may that be? It's just that. You really are a dumbass. Like, don't get me wrong. I knew you were a dumbass prior to that whole backstory. You just gave me. But goddamn. This was a huge ass awakening of how fucking dumb you actually are. I mean, you almost just exposed your biggest secret to Haru. And what makes things even more hilarious is the fact that you and I both know her would leave your ass if he found out you were a Yandir. You know, sometimes I question how you even got a boyfriend in the first place. Think about it. If you out of all people managed to get a boyfriend, then literally anything in the entire world is possible. But anyways, uh, Izumi, get your fucking greasy porous face out of mine. I, Izumi, wow, what are you? Silly Ayano thinks she can fuck around with me. We're about to see who the true dumbass actually is. I always get the last laugh. Ugh, what is this throbbing pain in my head? Wait, what the fuck? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Izumi, wait, well, we can talk about this. Fuck.
Anyways, what do you think we should do about that ho? Bayano? I, I am awake. Please don't kill me. Girl, stop fooling around. We need to find a way to get rid of that new student. Couldn't agree more. That thirsty ass slut needs to step away from Taro. And Haru. I thought you said that Haru didn't get flirtatious vibes from her. I did. But then again, Haru tends to be oblivious of girls. With ulterior motives. I just know a desperate love-hungry bitch when I see one. And I'll do anything in my power to make sure she doesn't lay a single one of her dirty claws on him. Hell yeah! That makes two of us. Ugh. I'll see you after class I guess. I'll text you. If anything important happens. Sounds good. Okay. See ya. Fuck. Wait. Izumi? A little help please? That bitch ass. <laughs> God, I hate this stupid school. All these pathetic, helpless people are getting on my last nerve. Let's just get this shit over with. Ugh. People. Wait, it's that cutie patootie I bumped into yesterday. Now this right here is going to be the highlight of my day. Hey, you're that guy I bumped into yesterday. That would be me, yes. Perfect. Um, okay. Initiating system one. System one loaded. That girl. I can't believe I almost went to class without my strawberry scented vibrator. That's so criminal of me. When I get my hands on that thing I will. This bitch is really testing my patience.